In this video, I'm gonna show you an example of facility layout project. To have a project, it's been done by a student. That's why I covered the names. And uh, as I uh, said, I'm gonna publish several projects on YouTube. You could find the link in the box below for other videos. So in this video, why we do the facility layout uh, in my company? Uh, just to increase the efficiency of performance in a company and to monitor, monitor to observe the production and the performance of operators uh, in order to increase the capacity of a system or, or more correctly to increase the actual output to reach the capacity of the system <coughs> so we have facility planning and design aluminum factory and aluminum is an introduction about aluminum just what does it do as a metal so just i would summarize it as soft durable lightweight ductile malleable metal uh, and here we have an example of aluminum panel doors windows and panels and so this is a factor we're gonna consider you could see it's like kind of like not very tidy factory which is perfect for this course because if you go to do a project in a very automated uh, good factory you won't do any modification to this factory so it's better to target a factory that has lots of problem and then to give you recommendation and what you suggest for things to happen okay so uh, we could see it's like zero safety everything is everywhere so uh, so the first product we're gonna consider is aluminum composite panels and second product is aluminum windows and doors aluminum composite panels uh, so we have the tape polymer tape and aluminum tape so three thickness of aluminum and it has different color and dimension as we could see here so the shift in the company is nine hours 30 minutes to break which is unavailable time 10 minutes coffee break 10 minutes cleaning up at the end of the shift 10 minutes machine checkup and setup so the available time per day is nine hours and if you uh, subtract the 30 10 10 10 which is like an hour so the remaining is eight hours available the total time is nine hours so the time efficiency is eight over nine 88 eight percent the total number of labor currently working in the factory are six labor so we start by sewing using a vertical machine cutting it trimmed and the vertical machine cutting it has this uh, picture so i'm gonna go up it trims the edge of aluminum board to be able to machine by required dimension so the cycle time is 4.8 minutes per plate units minutes is 0.0, .0 plate per minute capacity is 100 plate per shift number of labor toolers dimension is 5.6 square plate and actual capacity is 90 plates per shift okay so the capacity is not 100 but the actual capacity which is after deducting the scrap is 90 plates per shift so this is the vertical cutting machine svp and milling the second step is first is sewing the second is milling or v grooving changing the tool by a v disc to as you could see here uh, to slot or to fold it tool change time is one minute the cycle so we have all the uh, dimension all the uh, details related to this and the actual capacity is 90 plates per shift this is the v shape one um, the third one is a t slot the T slot uh, knot is used with a threaded clamp to position secure pieces be being worked on. T slot knot slide along a T slot track, which is set on workbench or a table, as well as we have 200 plates per, sheet per shift. The, f the fourth is cutting edge by jigsaw. I'm gonna, as you could see here, he's gonna cut those edges of panel and we do 220 plates per shift you could have a look at this the capacity and after uh, removing the scale remaining is 220 plates per shift okay and you could you have as well to take into consideration not just the scrap rate as well as the uh, amount needed per day maybe the capacity is the maximum you would achieve if you're working all the time however the actual capacity after deducting 
uh, it reflects the demand or what we really need so as you could see it here we've done we first we cut it we've done it with a V shape to do this edges here and then with a jigsaw we're gonna cut this around the edges rolling by rolling machine in order to bend it as you could see it here and as well 188 plates per shift okay we could see the rolling element here the process machines uh, arriving or uh, riveting uh, joining the edge to get the final product which is the last step as well as we could see it here what we've got here as system okay so we have the folding this is the next step fixing by right angle drilling and joining so as I could see here you fold it by right angle as you could see here we drill to put this and we join it in order to hold together so the first product network as I could see it here so the sewing V slotting T slotting edge cutting going and riveting and this is the root sheet of the product the root sheet of the product as you could see it here is a sewing V grooving T slotting and in a way you just put all the description to the machine related as part of it and if someone is unfamiliar with the process uh, he must if he reads this it's just like like food recipe it's just if he reads this table he should be familiar with how the product is being done uh, aluminum windows and door is made from pure aluminum bars and as well as we have the sewing so 96 windows per shift and we're cutting them as well as we have the punching 116 windows per shift and the milling 228 windows per shift and the drilling and joining in order to put them together 100 windows per shift and glass inserting hammering and joining 117 windows per shift so this is a, a network we have in order to obtain the windows so this is a root sheet as well needed to obtain all the information related to this process okay so this is an example of a window uh, so the aluminum door is being done the same way you just have to follow the steps rubber filling glass fitting bar close and handle drilling and we have the Rucci network for the product suggested improvement hire a supervisor buy a new SVP machine undergo an overtime policy only for SVP machine because the SVP is currently the bottleneck of the system so we need to install another one in order to speed up the system and we have to presume or come up with new factory layout so we have the old layout which is rose here is a rolling machine red is a milling machine the orange is a drill machine so all color based on the machine we have here as well the toilet which is here so this is a newly improved system and you follow the color in order to obtain the little one is a uh, poles of the building because here we are underground minus one so in this way we obtain the newly improved layout in this factory as you could see it here 